Given the function f of x equals x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 2, let's calculate the vertical asymptotes of the function. As we know, when we draw a function, if it has an asymptote, the draw goes like this. An asymptote is a kind of a straight line to which our function gets extremely close but it will never touch it. In the example we can see that the asymptote is a vertical straight line which equation is x equals 1, a constant value. An asymptote is the result when the one-sided limits any of the two of them that's the limit of f of x when x approaches infinite are infinite. In our case, how do we calculate the values of x that make the limit equals infinite? It's as simple as making the denominator equals 0. So x minus 2 equals 0. It is x equals 2. So to know if there's a vertical asymptote in x equals 2, we have to calculate the limit of f of x when x approaches 2. This is the limit of x squared plus 1 divided by x minus 2 when x approaches 2. To calculate this limit, we just have to substitute 2 squared plus 1 divided by 2 minus 2 which is 5 divided by 0. This fraction usually doesn't have any sense, but when calculating the limits, they mean that something divided by 0 is a number extremely, extremely big. That's infinite. We could also study the sign of the infinite, but it's not necessary in our case. As the limit is infinite, it means that x equals 2 is a vertical asymptote, and in our case it is the only possible vertical asymptote of the function.